Now to a terror plot targeting a Pittsburgh church thwarted by the FBI this morning. A Syrian refugee is under arrest and our chief justice correspondent Pierre Thomas is in Washington with all the details. Good morning, Pierre. Michael, good morning. The FBI lays out a chilling case, accusing a young Syrian man of plotting to ignite a religious war by attacking a house of worship in the name of ISIS. The target this small Pittsburgh church and the alleged plot to detonate an explosive device strong enough to destroy the church in a blast so powerful it would likely kill many people in the residential area surrounding this house of worship. It's devastating, um, but that's the time that we live in. Overnight, the FBI descending on the home of Mustafa Musab al Amir, a 21-year-old refugee from Syria who came to the U.S. in 2016. It was actually, like, really scary. If this was to actually go through and, like, happen, um, that would have been more detrimental than I can ever imagine. According to the FBI, al Amir did surveillance on the church after considering a number of targets in the Pittsburgh area. The alleged plan called for an attack in the upcoming month of July. And authorities claimed that Alawamir recently purchased bomb-making components, including nails for shrapnel, batteries, and chemicals. The charges unsealed Wednesday accuse him of planning to deliver bombs to the church and then to detonate them remotely. According to a transcript of Alawamir allegedly speaking to an FBI undercover operative, Alawamir said, when we have a goal, we can leave a book bag or something, and like we blow it up from someplace. I'm looking for a way to leave. I don't want to get caught. The FBI identified the suspect in part because he was allegedly obtaining large amounts of ISIS propaganda. The Justice Department claims at one point, al reached out to what he thought was an ISIS radical based overseas. It turned out it was a covert employee of the FBI posing as an ISIS sympathizer online, Michael. And good thing he was caught, Pierre. And Pierre, the FBI, they've been on high alert for these kind of plots. That's right. This is the same community that saw the Tree of Life synagogue massacre last October. And I was recently at an FBI briefing where a senior FBI official warned that the agency is experiencing a higher tempo of terrorism cases than they've seen in a long time. He said there are roughly 5,000 open terrorism investigations internationally and here at home. This includes 1,000 ISIS cases, 850 domestic terrorism cases, some involving white supremacists, and 1,000 so-called homegrown extremists, Michael. All right. Thank you so much, Pierre Thomas. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.